guys, my name is Florence and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you around our one bedroom apartment which I live in with my partner Hal. We've got over 150 house plants here so we're trying to create an urban jungle space but as you can see it gets a bit cluttered and crazy. I'm going to be showing you around as is so I haven't dusted any of my plants, I haven't put them in special places so you'll get a real feel for our aesthetic here. This is going to be split into two parts. So the first part, I'm going to be showing you the bathroom, the kitchen, the bedroom and our hallway. If you like this video, stick around for a preview of part two, where I can show you in here and it's absolutely insane. Right, so we're going to head straight down for the kitchen. Over here, this is a northwest facing window. Um, we've got a chicken gizzard, which looks pretty ropey at the moment, but I'll explain in a second why. It's got really beautiful pink stems and roots really easily in water. A couple of herbs and a pothos happy leaf. And then this is a northeast facing window. So here we've got a begonia U849, I might correct that in the description. But it's got really beautiful foliage and it shines really beautiful silver. The leaves are absolutely massive. And I got this as a cutting, rooted it in water and you can see all the new leaves coming through. So the reason that my chicken gizzard looks absolutely mental is because I took all of these as cuttings, rooted them in water, it took about three weeks until they were overgrown and popped them up straight into soil. That does plop similar to a photonia so if you don't water it it does tell you. We've got some more cuttings here, um, a begonia tomea, um, spider plant babies which are going to be potted up in the bedroom, some begonia propagation, So I'm trying out a different method because I've never done this before and I don't know whether it's going to work but we'll see. They've been in there for about four weeks and haven't changed but they also haven't rotted so I'm feeling quite hopeful. And then another begonia over here, I'll insert the name, um, but it's got really amazing red backs to the leaves which shine through in the morning so you come in here and it's just a wash with red. So up here as well is supposed to be Hal's spider plant but he just doesn't take care of it. So it's about half the size it was when it came here. So up here we have an orchid which is really sad, it's in hydroponics. Um, to be honest I just neglected that. It was in orchid bark or soil um, when I got it and I just didn't know the right conditions so believe it or not it is actually perking up and there's some new root growth. Okay let's go into the bathroom. I'm gonna let Hal go in because it's not enough room. Up in the windowsill we've got an Epiphyllum anguligar. It's grown absolutely loads since I got it. It was about half that size and probably about six inches tall, so I love the way that it's pulling up the window. Hanging on the left, we have an Epipremnum Enjoy. Which took a bit of a beating, to be honest, when I was in the bedroom, so I'm glad that it's in here and now pushing out new growth without any damage. We've also got some pretty dead Spanish moss and an air plant. and Sansevieria on the back of the toilet. And then if Hal turns around, you've got a peace lily, which just sits there quite happily. It hasn't flowered in a while, but I'm not too bothered. It's just there because it can take low light. And up on the windowsill, you've got a little cactus.
Um, here we've got a rattlesnake clavia, it sits under our skylight, so it's really happy. Um, yeah, okay, it's got some brown spots and yellow in the leaves. But to be honest, being able to keep a calathea alive is a pretty good achievement, so I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> and then we've got a lot of cuttings which are either rooting or in soil in here. There's a marble um, pothos up there and some more enjoy in there. Up here we've got an asparagus fern. I did have to deadhead a load of that because one reason or another I just can't keep ferns alive. And then we've just got a heart leaf philodendron here. The last plant in the hallway is this little raven ZZ. Now, I potted up my green ZZ in with it, but it wasn't very happy and also it doesn't get that much light, so I do tend to move it down next to the calathea so that it can get some skylight sun. We're going to go into the bedroom. I'm not sure if it's a Deliciosa or a Borsigiana, just because it doesn't have any ripples in the petioles. It's a fairly new cutting, I've had it for about a year, and it was in the lounge before, wasn't very happy, but since I've moved it in here you can see that it's unfurling a new leaf, and it's got a fairly small one at the back here. Here we've got some Sansevieria. At the back, I think it's a whale fin, but I think this might have been reclassified recently, so I'll put that on the screen now. And then up here, we've got some spider plants. We've got the curly bonnies on the left. A fully green one at the top, and a variegated one at the bottom. So I've actually got another basket, which I'm waiting for the cuttings from the kitchen to be ready. So that could be potted up and put up there as well. So it'll be a full wall of spider plants. There's an extremely sad string of hearts here. It was two magnificent plants, but because of how high it is, I just forget to water it. So I'm hopeful that I can take cuttings and plug them back in and potentially make it a bit better. <laughs> Uh, failing that, I'll be putting some burrow's tail in there, which obviously don't need to be watered as often. Here we've got some type of ponytail palm. It's really nice to see one this long because my mum has some and the cats just eat the bottoms. So this is an amazing plant for the bedroom as well. It hardly needs watering, it sits on top of our radiator cover. And I'm pretty sure that the heat in the winter helps it grow a bit more. There's plenty of new growth in this and it just doesn't have any brown tips, which I'm really happy with. <laughs> and over here we've got a golden pothos. This has been sat in water for about 18 months. It's got an incredible root system and it's fairly happy as long as I keep it fertilised and keep the water topped up. But if you've got a propagation vessel or a nice vase that you want some greenery in, definitely recommend this because obviously they live perfectly in water. And moving over, behind the bed we've got a wandering dude. This used to be bright purple and was in the lounge but it took up so much watering that I moved it in here and it gets diffused light. Might not be the happiest that it's ever been but it's just a nice little greenery bit behind the bed. And over here on this hanger, at the top we've got a neon pothos which hasn't grown at all in the year that I've had it but it hasn't lost any leaves and I'm starting to think it might actually be an artificial plant. And then below we've got two philodendron scoriferums. The stems on these are absolutely incredible. They're bright red and fuzzy and feel absolutely amazing. It doesn't get the best light so it won't push out the most growth, but it's perfectly happy there. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, whack them in the comments below. And if you like my content and want to see part two, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any updates.